closing comments here from Hackaday Managing Editor, Mr. Mike Stish. Please welcome to the stage. Thank you again. So, uh, you know, I got to say, it's pretty amazing uh, the lineup of speakers that we had, and, you know, they're donating their time and talent to come out and entertain us and to share their knowledge with us. So, we get one more hand for the, the speakers, all the speakers today. I also think it's pretty amazing uh, work that Alexander British has done uh, along with all of the supply frame um, staff that are located in Belgrade to pull off this amazing conference. Let's give them a hand as well. All day long, we've had amazing support from the staff of the facility, uh, from volunteers in the sponsor organizations, and from the professionals that are doing things like uh, uh, working out on the refreshments and making sure all of the AV equipment works. Let's give them one round of applause as well, please. Uh, something I'm really excited about, because I keep saying it every time I'm up here, is the badge hacking. And uh, boy, it's just turned out great. Thank you so much for that. And the badge would not have happened without uh, Boya and Tonish putting an amazing amount of effort into it. Let's thank him as well. <laughs> Those badges are based on a microchip uh, PIC 18F25K50. Uh, it's LF, I believe. And uh, Microchip actually donated all of the processors for that and uh, gave us some help uh, with the FAEs when we were working on uh, some of the C compiler stuff. And they've been really great. So uh, we really appreciate that. And we're going to see much more of that um, when we have the badge compo after, um, after dinner tonight. Uh, so thank you to Microchip for um, that donation. It, it does take a lot of resources to make this happen, and uh, Supply Frame, Hackaday's parent company, has made it a priority uh, to make events like this happen in as many places as possible. And um, the reason that they do that is they know that this is very special, uh, what we have here. Um, and along with them, there are a couple of uh, companies that uh, have a big local presence, uh, Seven Bridges and Vast. Uh, share those same values. They think you are important. They think doing events like this are important. Uh, and so to Supply Frame, Seven Bridges, and Vast, thank you so much for, for sponsoring this event and supporting this community. So now we get to the part where I like to state the obvious. And really, the, the obvious thing here that many people miss is that this is what Hackaday is all about, and this is what Hackaday has always been about. So you could have sat at home and watched TV all day, but you didn't. You decided to come here and hear these amazing, amazing talks and work on badge hacking and participate in workshops and um, have fun celebrating knowledge and celebrating achievement and science. and. Uh, I think it's really wonderful. Uh, at the same time, even if we didn't have this, this conference and this get together right now, you don't go home from work and, and sit on the couch and watch reality television every night. You go home from work and you pick up another equally challenging and equally difficult project and you make it uh, something that you kind of put all of your life force in, that pursuit of doing something new, doing something interesting, and not just keeping it to yourself, but actually sharing that knowledge. And so I often think of um, Hackaday being an apprenticeship program. It's people that are learning amazing things at a very high level, oftentimes working with others that have come before them and then looking for a way to pass that on. Um, I also look at Hackaday as being uh, kind of like a, a science society, uh, a, a place where people get together to discuss things because it's important that we understand them and we grasp them and that we use that interaction among peers and among people who are um, gaining through the ranks of knowledge and skill to create new leaps forward in what we're able to do and what we're going to pass on to the people coming um, behind us. And that's something that you don't see everywhere. And it is one of the reasons why you find so many um, people willing to come out and pack this room and so many speakers willing to kind of share that knowledge as well. Um, Hackaday is alive with people who find that something doesn't exist and then decide that they're going to change that. So inherently, they look at a problem of, has somebody done this before? And when the answer is no, it never stops there. It always goes on to the next thing. 
Um, but at the same time, I think that uh, right now we're still in kind of the, the stone ages, the dark ages of the internet. It's this tool um, that has grown up and it become very amazing, but um, new interactions and new ways to work collaboratively with each other using the internet as the ultimate tool are still being developed. And that's one of the things that's really important to the Hackaday community, really important with what we're doing um, with Hackaday.io, which is uh, trying to find ways to put people together. One of the things we've been talking about in Hackaday is um, finding and building your dream team. So uh, you never have every skill that you need all at one time. It may be that you're great at mechanical, but you need something to do electronic, or you're great at both of those and you need someone to do design, or you need multiple people in all of those things. And the internet is really the ultimate uh, achievement unlocker for that, because the, the people that are in your area might have limited amount of bandwidth to work on a certain number of projects. You might work with them now, but when you want to go work on the next project, they've already moved on to a different team, a different something. We should be able to use the internet as a multiplier for that, and that really is what Hackaday.io has been all about. Um, and in order to try and help encourage that sort of thing, um, I'm really excited that this is the third year of the Hackaday Prize, which is trying to incentivize people um, to really look at the skills that they have and the teams they can put together and try to build something that matters, build something that um, could maybe spark the next idea and move the entire world ahead, move humanity ahead. Um, and so even if the internet is still kind of in the dark ages, I think that this community of people and their willingness to, to work together and to share knowledge with each other, it's really the enlightenment, and we're gonna see the uses of the internet and the uses of way to connect people across um, long distances grow and grow and grow, and uh, what else can I say? It's amazing to be part of it. I'm a true believer in it, and I you know, definitely wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was gonna happen because of all of us. So I think one big part of that, people are often asking, you know, uh, you know, how can I help out, this sort of thing. I think documenting what you're working on, no matter how mundane um, it is, is incredibly important. So I encourage you, as you do your work, write it down, take pictures, post it somewhere. A lot of people think, well, no one wants to see this, but you gotta remember, every single day, someone sees the same thing you are doing, for the uh, but it, for them, it's the first time, they've never seen it before. Um, and I always like to, to put in a pitch, this isn't all altruistic either. So you might r write it down and um, you know, my reasoning might be go out and teach someone else a new thing, but it ends up becoming your engineering journal as well. And so five years from now when you have an amazing achievement and everyone's saying, hey, can you come to my conference and, and talk about the work that you've done, you've got this entire back catalog of notes and pictures and development logs. And I think that that is, like I said, one of those things that moves the internet, this uh, archival power that we have in order to share with other people is only good if you're actually doing the documentation as you find out these things. So consider that in, in your future builds. I think these things are not new. This is kind of where Hackaday has always been. Uh, but at this point, we're seeing that that growth is really taking off. We're seeing a lot more people um, that are interested in coming to a conference like this, going to a, a one-night um, set of lightning talks, or, or sometimes there's, there's a great uh, meetup that happens at the supply, supply frame office in uh, San Francisco called the Hardware Developers Didactic Galactic, where they get uh, people from all different parts of engineering to come in and give a, a 20, 30-minute talk uh, mixed in with some lightning talks about what they're doing. It happens about once a month. It's really amazing. Uh, this last November, we did our first um, Super Conference, also in San Francisco, and had a two-day event. Um, this is a, a natural growth of that. It's uh, similar in, in scope and scale of that event, and both amazingly successful. Uh, the thing is, we would like to see people empowered to do this in more than just once a year in one part of uh, the world that maybe you can get to and maybe you can't. Um, so I would encourage you to look into uh, the program that Sophie talked about already. Uh, it's called Hackaday Meetups, it's local meetups. We're encouraging people that um, are already involved in the Hackaday community and want to see who else in their area is also excited about it to get together. Um, do something as often or as infrequently as you want, um, but the first one is uh, World, Hackaday World Create Day, which is April 23rd. Uh, we're putting together Hackaday Meetups all over the world and having um, people get together and have one day of engineering brainstorming to kind of empower uh, the people who didn't know Others in their neighborhood were doing the same kind of things that they did. And uh, you know, if you want more information on that, 
Uh, go to hackaday.io and look up uh, World Create Day or talk to any one of the Hackaday crew. Um, we have a great night ahead of us, so don't go anywhere. Uh, the next thing up is uh, dinner, and uh, right at 9.30, we're gonna be starting uh, the bands. Uh, please feel free to stay in this area. There is gonna be some sound check, um, but there's really no reason to go outside. It's much better here and much more fun, and uh, badge hacking is gonna happen in, in the workshop area and all over the place. So thank you for coming today, and uh, long live Hackaday. <laughs>